So welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, hey, hello, my name is Lauren. In today's video, we are going to be doing my March plan with me. And I'm so excited because these new wallpapers that I've created for this month are so fun. And I just personally love spring so much. Literally right now while I'm recording this, it is like 70 degrees outside and sunny. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know about y'all, but spring has to be one of my favorite seasons by far. Everything is just so happy and everyone just, I feel like it gets in such a good mood. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into our March plan with me. Okay, so I wanted to quickly go through the March wallpapers that I have in stock for you guys. First off, we have these really beautiful gradient. I am obsessed with this. And then it does have the March calendar in the middle for you guys so that everything is visible and you can see your calendar. This also is available for your desktop. We also have it in this really pretty yellow pink color. I just think this is so stunning and so springy to me. And again, we also have that one available for your desktop as well. And then lastly, we have this one, which is going to be most suited for iPhones, but it also works really well with the iPads, which is why I made it this size. And this is actually the one that I'm going to choose because I'm obsessed with it. So you can kind of pick and choose which one you want to focus on. If you want this more towards the top or at the bottom, I kind of like mine right about here. So I'm going to set it for both of mine and look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this collage wallpaper. It's just so springy and so pretty. Now I wanted to remind you guys of a quick tutorial so that you can also go and download these fun wallpapers in case you wanted to match them or you just really loved them. They are available in my freebie vault on my website so you can go to digitalplanninggal.com once you are on there if you are not already signed up for the freebie club then a pop-up is going to pop up onto your screen and you're going to be able to sign up with your email if that does not show up for you you can go to the bottom of any page on the website and it's going to ask you to join the mailing club what you're going to do is you're going to enter in your email and you'll click subscribe now. Once you click subscribe now, it's going to immediately fill out this down here and tell you what the code is. That's literally what I'm hiding. It's going to tell you what the code is to get into the freebie club. Once you have that, you're going to click on the freebie club at the top and you can enter in your passcode. Once you have plugged in your passcode, you can then get access to the freebie vault. And here are all of the March downloads. There is also the old January and February one without the calendars on them. So if you want to go back and and save those as well as other couple fun freebies. So you can access everything here. All you have to do is literally just click download and it's going to save it to your files on your iPad or your computer. And then you can tap it to unzip it and then you'll have your image and you can put it wherever you like. We're gonna be going into the GoodNotes app today. And the first thing we're going to be focusing on is the month in review. I'm using the 2022 Ultimate Retro Life Planner. This is my dated 20 2022 planner. It is literally my favorite. Like, look at this cover. It's just absolutely stunning. She is the moment and I'm obsessed with her. All of these things are always linkable. They go straight to the date. But for today, we are going to be focusing on March. If you guys want to purchase this digital planner, I'll be linking it up here in the corner of this video so that you can go and check it out. I'll also have the link down below in the description box so you guys can go and purchase it if you would like. Now it's time to do our month in review. Month in review is the space where you can go back and reflect on all of your different goals that you had kind of set for yourself and think about where you struggled and where you did well and what areas you could improve upon. And it just kind of helps you really gather those ideas all in one place so that you can move into the next month with a really positive mindset and you're ready to focus on your goals. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna put on some music and go at it and maybe talk you guys a little bit through some of them, but you'll be able to see most of them as I go through and I type. quick 
quickly now that I finished my highlight section I'm just gonna kind of review over with you guys um, some great highlights from this month were that I continued to make consistent sales for February February is typically one of my lower months so I was really excited to see that the sales were still staying really good I also did a lot of family time and took a trip with my family and also had a staycation with clay both trips were super duper fun and it was just really great kind of getting out of the house and getting to do something a little bit different and just kind of pushing through those last few weeks of winter and then lastly this month we ended up booking our girls trip for this year we're gonna be going in May and we're gonna be going to Cancun so I'm so excited we're gonna have a freaking blast and then we also booked our friends trip to Colorado so that's gonna be really cool too so lots of traveling plans coming up this year very very excited now let's slide on over and move into our struggles Some of my struggles this month were mostly related to work, I would say, and less about personal things. Um, I was a little disappointed in myself for work this month because I was very inconsistent. I wasn't posting on my Instagram stories like I like to do a lot. I wasn't posting my daily Instagram reels. I also wasn't doing um, a video week on YouTube and my other channel, I was missing, I missed about three different upload days. So I was really disappointed in myself that I wasn't able to get those things done and be consistent. And so that was a little upsetting, but that's okay. We'll move on and learn from it. Also this month, I dealt with a couple of health concerns and things but luckily those have been kind of figured out and I've spoken to my doctor and I'm doing a lot of great things right now to kind of help combat that and then also just low energy due to the weather I'm someone whose energy completely revolves around the weather and whether or not it's good a beautiful sunny day will give me so much energy and motivation whereas like a rainy or cold day just is not my vibe now we're gonna do my lessons learned section Alrighty, so some of my lessons that I learned this month was first that I should be creating a schedule for work, which is kind of part of my goals for March moving into this new month, is that I need to create a schedule for work that allows me to stay consistent and stay productive. So creating a schedule that works for me throughout the week and kind of forcing myself almost to stick to a little bit of a schedule because as someone who's fully self-employed, literally just works myself at home, I have a really hard time sometimes like motivating myself and wanting to get up and get stuff done. So creating a schedule I think will be very helpful for that. The second lesson I learned is to outsource things that I'm not good at or that I just don't simply want to do or things that I tend to be lazy on which causes delays and things. So for example, I know that I am I just hate editing videos. So I am um, getting my editor for my other channel to start editing these videos too and having her edit my channels for my main video and these ones just kind of takes a task off of my plate that is something that I literally dread doing and I'm not a fan of doing so I'm excited to kind of take on some help and you know get that outsourced so that I can still be productive and consistent without having to rely on myself to do the things that I get annoyed by then um, eating healthy um, eating for health I guess is what I'm saying here with my health concerns a lot of the things that I was experiencing are things that I can definitely control by eating a proper diet diet and with a good exercise routine so that just kind of solidified to me that you know as I'm getting older now I'm like almost 27 and I need to be starting to focus on my own health and taking my health into my own hands and just making sure that I am actually eating for nutrition and fueling my body with good things so that I can have the best and most productive day possible. And then lastly, a little a day goes a long way. Oh my goodness. Little tiny consistent steps each day are going to allow me to reach my goals and do everything that I need to do and, and just and be more consistent. Um, a little day goes a long way, literally goes for me keeping up with laundry or keeping up with my daily dishes or um, working a little bit on a project for my business, like a little bit at a time, you know, decluttering a space or cleaning or whatever it is, like breaking it down into little steps and doing a little bit each day in order to help move that needle is very important. Now we're going to give the month a score out of 10. 
I am giving my month a seven. I would have given it a six because I just really wasn't proud about my health and like being inconsistent with work, but I bumped up to a seven because I really started to figure out some things towards the end of the month and I got to spend a lot of time with friends and family this month, which always makes me very happy. I'm trying to focus more on the positive. So we're going with a seven. Now we're going to be moving into the journaling prompts down here at the bottom. What happened this month that changed me? What challenges did I face this month? What am I spending too little or too much time on? What went well that I can repeat next month? And what are my goals for next month? I'm gonna put on some music, little montage, go through, fill us all out, and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. Alrighty guys, I've just finished filling out my journal section. I really like filling this out because it allows me to narrow in on my plan moving forward before I step into the month of March. And it just, it gives me a really good overview of what all I should be focusing on this next month based off of my progress from last month. So I'm really excited moving into this next month. Now we're gonna move on over to the monthly calendar and we're gonna start putting in some of our important dates as well as our different tasks that I want to complete within this month for work and for personal life. I do have some random stickers here because I was showing some tutorials the other day, but let's go ahead and start entering in these dates. So now I've got all of my important dates and these are all things that are pretty much solidified. So we have a very busy schedule all of our weekends as you can see lots of stuff going on here and just a lot of things. So I really wanna make sure that I have everything tracked down. I would ideally like to go in here and also plan out my YouTube videos for both of my channels, but I think I'm gonna wait and do that because that just has a little bit more work behind it. Moving on to my work goals and tasks that I want to complete this month. I'm going to be starting a new planner and I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, I've got lots of great ideas and things I'm going to be doing. Not totally sure when it will launch or anything like that, um, but it definitely will be coming hopefully soon. I'm not entirely sure, but um, that's a big one that I'm going to be starting. I also want to research some co-working spaces. I'm really trying to get out of the house more and do work instead of constantly being at home because I find I'm just a lot more inspired when I get out of the house. I'm going to create a good work schedule and routine to kind of stick to and I kind of already have started implementing this but I just want to remind myself about it I have a sponsorship this month with a company for my YouTube channel so I want to make sure that I um, am on top of that and I'm communicating and remembering to do that and then I want to work on a freebie as well for my personal life I want to move three times a week that means just some sort of physical movement or working on getting my steps just like being a bit more active I need to schedule a dentist appointment I can't even remember if I literally had this on my last month and maybe even on January's, but I accidentally keep putting it off. So I need to actually get this done this month instead of just forgetting about it. March means spring cleaning for me. I wanna get a lot of spring cleaning done, some decluttering, just like deep cleaning our house, just like, like getting it really nice for the springtime and moving into summer. Um, I also wanna order some furniture pieces and then I want to sign up for a nutrition course. I'm putting a lot of emphasis recently on also focusing and growing things in my personal life because I find that I focus a lot on work and I sometimes forget that, you know, personal life is also important. Now that we are done filling out our March calendar, it is time to move on to the March vision board. I'm gonna speed you guys up while I do this because I have not already gone out and picked all my pictures that I want. So I'll be using Pinterest to go and grab all of my photos, place them all on here. So I'll catch you guys once I'm done with all of this.
Okay guys, I'm not sure what cut off here, but I have finished my vision board and this is what it looks like. I really wanted to take some time with this vision board and put things that were very representative of my physical goals. Um, the vision board is typically just an actual visual representation of my goals. I don't typically do just only pretty pictures. I like the pretty look, but I also try and make them very specific to some of my certain goals and what I'm trying to work on this month and then also try and add in some quotes. So this is what I came up with for the month of March. I'm really wanting to work on kind of meditation and some yoga. I've got some work goals. This is kind of representing me finding a co-working space. We've got lots of things about healthy food here, eating whole foods. YouTube is kind of a big priority this month. Um, getting out and trying physical activities like tennis or golf. Again, focusing on creating my work routine. This is more about appearance, I would say. Just this kind of vibe of this photo is the very like clean look that I really like. Remembering to drink water. And then this is more about my sleep routine and then just some two quotes to kind of help with some of those goals. So I love how this turned out. Alrighty guys, this is going to bring us to the end of today's March plan with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna be linking last month's video here for you guys so you can go and check it out if you wanna watch another as well as an entire playlist full of my plan with me's. I'm also gonna have my subscribe button down here so you guys can stick around for more videos. And I'm gonna be linking to this planner here that I'm using in today's video so you guys can go and check it out if you want to match me and plan along your months. And without further ado guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.